going on guys the barber phil here back again with another haircut tutorial and in today's cut we've got a gentleman's cut on a buddy of mine i went to high school and played basketball with him he's a dentist here in town and as you can tell he does come in with his hair already styled so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave his hair as is i'm not going to wet it down i'm not going to wash the product out and we're going to cut it to the way he styles it so we're going to kick things off by using the cordless detailer this is actually the newest addition to my clipper arsenal so i'll try to keep you guys updated on how much i like those we're going to do a bald section there just to kind of clear out the bottom of the sideburn now we're going to take a metal magic clip with the lever wide open take that up about three quarters of or an inch up from that detailer line to about the top of the ear or so we'll close the lever up halfway and then all the way fading that little section down and then from here this is the uh this is the big point in this video so basically what I have is a three guard on this metal magic clip. He doesn't do a hard part, but he does part his hair and he fixes his hair every day, the same way every single day. So what I did was I left it styled the way he came in with it styled. He came straight from work in his scrubs, had it styled. So we're going to cut it exactly the way he came in with it. What I'm going to do is take this three guard, we're going to flush to the head, straight up and then off. And then when we get up to that weight, we're gonna make sure that each stroke that we take, you can tell right there, I've got it sped up a little bit. So if I had it in real time, you'd really be able to tell how slow we're coming up through there. I'm trying to make sure that every stroke that I make through that weight area, we're allowing that hair to feed through that clipper and be cut evenly by that cutting blade. Combing it back down over and over again just to make sure that we are still in place. And then all we'll have to do is a little bit of blending up the shear just to soften up that the ends of the hair. If he actually had finer hair, probably wouldn't even have to do any uh, clipper over comb or blending shear. If he had finer hair instead of uh, real coarse hair like he does, probably get away with it with just doing that three guard, free handing it up through there and be, be good. Now we have transitioned over to the two guard. We're starting with it wide open and we're gonna do as usual, we're gonna fade down. So we're gonna go about halfway to three fourths of the way up through where we left off that closed three guard section. We'll close that lever up halfway, drop down a little bit more, go about halfway to three fourths of the way up through that fully open two guard section, and then we'll finish things off, close the lever all the way up, drop down a little bit more, halfway to three fourths of the way up through that half open two guard section. I just closed it up there. So we're gonna make a little pass through here. Same motions, making sure that every stroke that you take, you're scooping out at the top just to make sure you don't leave any harsh lines that would require more work later and then from there we'll go ahead and just start fading out this bottom part so now what i have is the one guard open and we're just kind of flicking up into where we left off with that two guard closed Folding the ear down, making sure that we scoop around the ear and we, we get all that extra hair that usually gets left behind the ear. Uh, knock that down so that we can come in in a minute with the FX's and put a nice sharp line down it. Flick up through the C cup there just to make it make sure that it's shortened down some. His hair does grow uh, back from front to back around his ear there as well as on his C cup. So we made sure that we went in the correct direction there to make sure it's even. And then like I said, we're gonna do this right side first, then we'll do the left side, and then we'll finish it off in the back. So I'm not gonna really get into a taper in the back. I just took that one guard all the way down through there. That way we know when we get to that back taper, we'll be tapering up into a one guard. Here I'm gonna continue just one more time. This is the actual little half guard with the wall um, magic clip here. I've got it all the way closed, and we're just, there's a couple spots, like I said, right there behind his ear. His hair grows a little funny. We wanted to make sure that we knocked it down instead of getting into it with the trimmers too much. Go ahead and knock it down and then we'll be able to come in with the trimmers and get it all taken care of. Actually, I did go ahead and take that half guard up into that one guard. So we should just be able to go straight open clipper and pretty much be done with it. I switched over to the one and a half guard. I've got it open and this is basically just a detail uh, section if you will there wasn't really a line per se there that we were trying to knock out we just wanted to go up through there try to let that one and a half guard really blend uh, from the one guard up through that three guard kind of in between there and then we're going to get into the fx's fold that ear down use the corners of your blade do a nice round about his ear 
flatten that blade out, do a nice sharp line down his neck, scoop everything out there that's uh, unnecessary. So we got a nice sharp line there. You got a nice curved edge around his ear. Fold his ear down, do the front side there, just using the corners of his blade, and then get right into that C cup. Uh, a light vertical bar. I didn't, not really pushing him back, just cleaning up some of that fine uh, hair that usually grows on the forehead. And this side is just about complete. So as we get started back here in the back, make sure that you pay attention to the way I uh, handle the area right there in the top where the, the sides meet the weight from the top. Uh, I am leaving this hair, like I said before, this is styled the way he came in. This has got the product that he uses. And so I'm taking the comb, I'm making sure that that's always combed down into place. I'm taking this three guard closed, flush to the head all the way up through there. And then when I get up to that weight and where that area is, I'm gonna float that guard up through there, make sure that every stroke I come up through there, the hair is feeding through that guard uh, evenly. It's cutting it nice and clean. And then you can tell there's a dark spot in the front, but, but from about the ear on back through there, you probably don't even really need blending shears. It blends in perfectly. Now we have dropped down. Since we do fade down, we're using the two guard open and we're flicking up into where we left off with that three guard closed. Then we will do the same steps as always. We'll close it up halfway. We'll close it up all the way, continuing to drop down. Once we get down to that closed two guard area, we'll go ahead and pull out the one guard, clean up from the, the bottom of the neck area, and flick up into where we left off with that two guard. We'll finish everything off, fading on the side with that one and a half, just to kind of blend it all together. And then we'll get into some more detail work around the perimeter after that. So here is that one guard. Like I said, we're just gonna start down here in the base and we're just gonna flick up through that two guard area, fold that ear down, go ahead and get that ready for the lineup in a minute. But this is more or less just to go ahead, finish off that transition from the three guard up in the Prado Ridge area on down through the base area. Now we've got a nice clean canvas. We can taper up into this one guard. It'll be a nice, easy, smooth transition and for the most part, should be able to get almost an open clipper if you really finessed it, but we'll probably use the half guard just to completely blend it all together. So like I did mention, we did come back in, a little bit of detail work, just like we did on the other side with the one and a half, just to kind of flick through that middle area there, just hit little dark spots throughout. Same steps as the other side. Just clean out that bottom section there on the temple. Uh, basically just to go ahead and knock out that the thick part of his sideburns. We'll do an open no guard. Close that lever up halfway. Close it up all the way and that will flick out into that detailer line that we put in. Then you can just use the half guard from there and pretty much blend up into the one guard that we left off with. Now we can get into the back repeat all the same steps and get into that back taper. So we'll go ahead and pull out the FX's again, hit the C cup, kind of just gliding it through there, getting that nice semicircle. We'll do a, a light vertical bar here in the front as well, and then get right into the semicircle around his ear, fold that ear down, use just the corners of your blade as always for those curved areas. And then once you get to a nice flat spot in the behind the ear here go ahead flatten that blade out put a nice sharp line on it use the corners of your blade again just get that nice curved line through there make sure you always keep that ear folded down you don't want to nick the ear um, there something about the ears there if you get it with a, a trimmer that, that will really turn off the client um, so make sure you're very careful with that go ahead and clean that pesky neck hair up nice and cleaned up keep your clients refreshed and everything and then we'll just get right into the back I'm gonna leave it pretty sped up until we actually get down to the taper in the back area. And you'll notice this particular client, uh, I'm doing the same steps. We're really floating that guard up through that weight area in the crown, making sure that we leave length for it to lay down. That way it doesn't spike up. Um, but we're also allowing that three guard to blend up into it, give them a nice clean look as well. But you'll notice once we get going and I start to remove some of this hair in the back, he does have some dimples 
uh, kind of throughout in the back of his um, around his occipital bone and stuff in the back there so there were a few little spots here and there that presented some color issues we did the best we could there continued on with our steps stayed methodical with that and continued on So as usual with the taper, we started it off with the detailer. Then we came in with a closed metal magic clip. Did a, about a half inch or so section there. Then we opened it up uh, halfway, went up a little bit more, about a half inch or so, opened it up all the way. Now we're flicking up into where we left off as we faded down. Now you can just smoothly transition all that together by using the wall premium half guard. And I'm using the corners of the blade there because there's a, a darker spot right there in the middle uh, of his head right above that, that open section. That's where I'm working at right there. Just kind of working the corners, get that spot lightened up a little bit. And then from there, blending shears just to soften up that weight a little bit. Like I said, his hair is pretty coarse. So we wanted to just kind of soften the way that that looked up a little bit. But other than that, guys, there's no clipper over comb. We don't have to come in and do a lot of work to it. We're not having to do any, um, you know, any major changes. Just hit a couple of these darker spots and call it good. And I don't know if you guys will be able to tell in the video itself the change in the lighting. Um, it was actually one of the. This is actually my last cut for the night. All the guys cut out. Uh, I don't even think anybody really even thought twice about it. They went ahead and turned off all their stations and all their ring lights. And literally the only stations left on were mine and the two right beside me. So the lighting did get off a little bit. Hopefully that doesn't affect the, the way this video turned out for you guys. But we got into the top. We just kind of cleaned up a little bit throughout. We didn't take too much off. He liked where it was at. And then from there, we just kind of blow dry styled it got it back into a uh, position to where we could add a little bit of product. I do have the same product that he uses. He picked some up from me. I'm just applying a little bit more product here and then use a comb, style it, and send him on his way. Well, that about does it for this tutorial, guys. Like I said, this is a client of mine that styles his hair on the daily, so all I'm gonna do here in a second is just reapply the same product that he uses, comb it back into place, and send him on his way. Guys, take a second. Hit me up in that comment section. Let me know what you thought about this tutorial. Like the video if you liked it. Dislike it if you didn't. That way we can get into those recommended and into the algorithm a little bit more. Get this video out to more people. Consider subscribing if you're new. Enable that notification bell. That way you never miss another video from me. Sunday and Wednesday is the schedule. Two videos a week to you, I promise. And until the next video, guys, I appreciate it.